A large winter storm along with several smaller disturbances all orbiting each other created a dramatic and dynamic wintry scene to kick off 2026, even though that dominant low which lurked over Scandinavia and the Baltic Sea slowly broke up after unleashing widespread snowfall, the cold air mass which followed remains well established, keeping the stage set for more snow in the week ahead. Down south, Storm Francis was also arriving at the same time as that big system in Scandinavia. Francis has also gradually degraded, but bits and pieces from this system are slowly sliding across the Mediterranean, resulting in multiple waves of serious rainfall and heavy snow in the Balkan Peninsula. Even now, as I record this video, another wave of snow is developing, this time over the low elevations of Italy, across all of Slovenia, and into nearby portions of Austria, Croatia, and Hungary. During the day today, this wave of snow will move very slowly to the north and east, and then as it keeps sliding in that direction, tomorrow yet another wave of snow will arrive. This swath of snow will focus a little further south and then extend from Bosnia and Montenegro into much of Serbia, western Romania, eastern Hungary, and then again moving through southeastern Poland, western Ukraine, and Belarus. On the southern end of those systems, heavy rainfall and severe storms pose a threat. Today, the heaviest rain looks most likely around northern Algeria and also into parts of the Balkans, particularly in the low elevations of Montenegro, Albania, and northern Greece. Strong to severe storms will bring in this persistent and heavy rain, so other hazards such as large hail, damaging winds, water spouts, and excessive lightning are very possible in addition to flash flooding. For tomorrow, the flash flood risk continues for Albania and northern Greece, but it will increase in southern Italy, and then for Thursday we thankfully see conditions improve for the Balkans and areas west of there, but now I'm going to be watching for western and central Turkey as a powerful cold front produces widespread heavy rain. The threat will continue into Friday as well. By this point, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Jordan could see areas of flash flooding. Let's rewind this back to today so we can focus more on what's coming up. Right now, a small area of low pressure is making its way into Scotland and it's expected to produce widespread snow as it crosses the country throughout the day. The UK Met Office has placed a couple amber warnings in areas that could see the heaviest and most disruptive snow from this particular event, but we've already seen plenty of snow in some of these same areas in recent days. A couple other small low pressure systems are lurking around southern Scandinavia and they're bringing scattered heavy snow today as well, before a bigger round of snowfall arrives tomorrow in association with that low crossing Scotland, extending from parts of France all the way up to Norway. When you think back to the overall pattern that we've seen over the last two weeks, we really haven't seen too much coming straight off the Atlantic and pushing into Europe. That muted westerly influence, which is always going to be on the milder side, has allowed for colder air masses to move in from the north and east. This is why we have seen a period of prolonged cold and opportunities for snow. But what happens when the pest from the west finally comes back after Europe has been invaded by cold air? Well, the result can be quite dramatic in some cases, and that could be the case this week, and it all starts with this. These kinds of systems are extremely hard to predict, so I've avoided drawing too much attention to this, but at this point it's clear that this system is on its way, it's just going to be a matter of figuring out the exact path, intensity, and impacts. It starts off as a relatively weak area of low pressure approaching on Wednesday, and then sometime between that Wednesday and Thursday time frame, that's when we could see it rapidly intensify. Heavy wet snowfall could then break out in parts of Ireland and the UK, but where that snow does break out is heavily dependent on the exact path of this system. Regardless of snowfall, a rapidly deepening low introduces the potential for damaging winds, so this is going to be something to watch especially in mainland Europe, but if this system does move in a bit further north, southern England would also be at risk of strong winds. And even after this low begins degrading, winds should remain gusty with scattered snow showers across central Europe into the weekend. Due to uncertainty with that system arriving later this week, I'm not going to be showing a snowfall accumulation map today, but regardless, another cold and snowy week is expected for Europe, so those were the main points I wanted to cover. For more information on European weather, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and also follow me on Instagram and X for additional updates. Last but certainly not least, our featured media slideshow begins momentarily. The Discord server recently had an influx of new members submitting amazing snowy scenes from all around Europe. Remember that if you would also like to have a chance at seeing your own weather related photos and videos in a future episode, you can join the official Weather Watcher Discord server using the link in the description and pinned comment below.